done. Hello. I've just been to the warehouse and I saw those and I had to have them. <laughs> and I'm just wondering where I'm going to put them. I'm wondering, you know, whether I'm going to put them in the um, sleeper bed. Maybe. Anyway, would you like to have a walk around and see what's happening in the garden? Where are we? <laughs> Good. <laughs> July now, aren't we? Yeah, a week into July. Yeah, and everything is coming on a treat. Although, I've got no flowers in, it, in here. This started off as one of those. Little tiny one. No, nothing there yet. No buds on this either. But it has perked up. Do you remember last time we did a video and it was flopped? And I asked Jenny if anybody knew what was wrong with it. It just seemed to take care of itself. So it's all perked up, but there are no buds. This is a new addition. I think it's called a cactus dahlia. I just thought it was pretty. So I bought it. <laughs> Look at that. I love these pom-pom dahlias. I think they're my favourite. Just beautiful. Love them. Now this one has flowers. But only two. It used to have masses. Oh, there's a third one coming just there. So uh, maybe I will get some more. But yeah, it used to be smothered in flowers. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to... Renew them. Get rid of those and get new ones. This is still doing all right, considering it's the win winter one. I haven't changed anything apart from I pulled all these off and let them bloom again. So yeah, really chuffed with them. The back's a bit empty, look. <laughs> so we just don't look at that. <clears throat> Hucara cuttings. Two are doing all right. That was the main um, plant, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. So, but at least I've got two. This last year was white. <laughs> I don't know what's gone on there, but it was a white one. But it's pretty, it's fine. I've got a little heuchera here as well, growing. And that looks like it's a bit of the blue stuff. I can't remember what it's called, lobelia. And this geranium, I thought I'd lost. I think it's the orchid geranium. I'm hoping anyway, because it was gorgeous. Yeah. Look at all this. Ants. We've got ants. There's another bit of lobelia. Look, it's just growing everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Deary me. And my new hibiscus is flowering. Oh, it's not open. It's probably not warm enough yet, but it has been wide open and they're purple at the back of the throat. Really pretty. Again, these are from winter. They were the winter pansies. This got battered in the storm. Ooh, it's got a snail. Ooh. Ooh. Go away. <laughs> That's what's eating the leaves then. Yeah, this one's doing all right as well. Oh, more lobelia. Don't eat it, Ted. Blue pins. They're doing all right. Oh, they've got the mealy bug things on them. Ugh. Blimmin' things. They get everywhere. That's what the washing up bottle's for. I spray them. Seems to get rid. Yeah. Doing all right. This way, cameraman. <laughs> I think that's a phlox. Not 100% sure, but it, I think it's a phlox. Look, I have one. Oh, I can't remember the name again. 
It's not alliums, it's the other one, the big ones. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, if it comes to me, I'll say it. But I'm sure the viewers will know what it is anyway. Yeah, doing all right. Everything's doing all right. I've hacked back the um, jasmine because that had finished. This is new, the not new to the garden, new, new flowering. Daylilies, beautiful. And look, I have one rose, no more buds. I'm doing something wrong. I mean, it's beautiful and it smells amazing, but yeah. And I had to take one of the astilbes out because you couldn't see the euonymus, I think it is. Yeah, and I've hacked back the um, honeysuckle as well. This is still going from strength to strength. Yeah, my two hostas underneath here have been eaten. Look, I've put um, pellets down now. Too late though. But they've completely eaten them away. There's nothing left. And your tree is just going mad. I think that I might raise the crown. So from here, get rid of all this so that you can see what's underneath. But I'll have to get your okay for that because that's your, your tree. My unruly bush. Your unruly bush, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mushrooms in the grass. Apparently, it means you've got good soil. I just think they're a pest. But I'm pleased with my grass. I think it's looking really good this year. Thick, green, bushy. Look at all the buds on this rose bush. Don't look over there, it's dirty. But look at all those. I think I need to get out and do some weeding. Chinese plumbago, beautiful blue. That's where I put the astilbe that I moved from the other side of the garden at the back there because it will be shady for it. And this oleander, if you remember, I cut it back to nothing. Look at it, all brand new growth gorgeous it may not flower this year but it is beautiful and my peaches oh my peaches got a fair few peaches this year for a change however they seem to have stopped growing i might try feeding them with some sea liquid seaweed and see what happens but i don't know maybe we're not getting enough sunshine so yeah Everything just is doing its thing, isn't it? This is its second flush. I cut the first lot off to here, look, and it's flushed again. This hasn't got any buds either this year, and it's not as big as it was last year. So I don't know. That's the second flush for that Veronica as well. I cut those off. Look at your daisies. Yeah, kind of taken over. Yeah, they do every year, don't they? And the roses, I mean, three of them need chopping off. I need to do some deadheading, I think. But I chopped that right down. And look how tall it's got, just in one season. I thought that was a Veronica, you know, but I'm not convinced anymore. It's just gone crazy. It hasn't flowered or anything, so I'm not sure. There are buds little tiny buds inside but it hasn't done anything yet but yeah behind here is a fern type plant I can't remember its name and it's flowering for the first time you wouldn't think we thinned this out a few weeks ago no <laughs> the um, hydrangea is going to be smothered by the look of it Spirea, this pink 
and golden bush that's beautiful yeah everything's doing all right this dahlia is full of buds as well that's going to do all right these are finished they're just doing their own thing Mind to do they are just decided to put it out here to air it I don't know what's going on here look it's flowering but all the leaves have died it's going it's coming out it's not doing its thing so it's got to go but I think I'm going to put them calla lilies in here you know I'll just have to find somewhere to put the geraniums but they could perhaps go in the beds this is going to flower soon we think it's lemon balm don't we because when you it smells of lemon but that again it just takes over and I chopped it completely away last year completely I was trying to kill it to be honest because it does take over I think it's too big for the bed what are you looking at the coleus one of her favorite plants yeah that was like that when we got it look at it now Lily's waiting to pop And look at this. Would you believe there are only two geranium plants in there? That's all. It's beautiful. Best the troughs ever looked this year. So yeah, I think that's about it really. No more plans for the garden this year. It's a bit late now. But yeah, chuffed with it. Oh, I have got some plans for the person holding the camera. If you turn around, I don't like that the olive bush is being attacked by the eucalyptus. That needs your saw coming out, I think, and taking right. Yeah, I think we need to take it right back. Eucalyptus is a weird thing. Yeah. It never grows straight. It no. goes towards the sun. And it just Yeah. It's just like a weed. Yeah. It grows mad. it goes mad. So yeah, I think it needs taking right back. I'm sure it'll sprout from the bottom again, but that's a job for you whenever. But you're going out on your motorbike, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe. It's a perfect day, not too hot. And I'm gonna watch Wimbledon. So there we go. It's nice to see you. I hope your gardens are all blooming. And you're enjoying the summer it's hit and miss here in England <laughs> some days are sunny and others are cloudy it's a weird summer this year anyway look after yourselves and I'll see you soon bye <laughs>